Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to download and install Smart Office Attendant software. Let's begin. Just browse your Google to get Smart Office U. We know that we can use the Smart Office software for ESSL devices like KPP, I9C. download the software just open the file location and start the installation procedure normally you will get error file or zip file so just extract the file and start the installation Once your installation has done, so you have to give the access permission for the authorized person to access the software. Now you can log in Smart Office Suite by using username smart and password also smart. Once you log in into Smart Office, then you can just upload partner details, company details, all these things. Now the next step is license updation. So how are we gonna make license updation? For this, you need to get the activation code first. So just follow the procedure which we are doing right now. Once you copy this activation key, you need to browse uh, your web page again and go to license. So in that only you can upload your activation key. From this, uh, you just need to put your email ID mobile number and all then after the license key which is directly into your email id
once you update your all necessary details to the website then after you can come back to your email and from that you will get the license key so just copy this license key from email and you can paste it over there in your software itself Now the next step is you need to add devices. So for that you just need to go to device. From that in the down bottom you can see add device. So here you need to click it. A window will come. Before going to this process you have to mention IP address, subnet mask, gateway, all these things in your device. And you have to keep serial number with you. Once you have done device adding, you can synchronize your time. That means your system time into your device. So the time should be same only after. Now let's begin with master settings. So here we can change the default company name into your company name. So here we can see right now.
once you update company data you can come to category here you can set up week of one week of two all these details then you can start with shift settings also so the same master you can go to shift and you can allocate the particular time means starting time end time if you have break time also you can allocate it over here Here I'm just describing about how to download user details from device to software. So for that, uh, we just need to download the user information first. Okay, just follow these small steps to download the user information from your device. Once you download all these user informations, you can start to upload employee details in master settings. Okay, so here we. Here we can upload all of your information regarding employee details, employee name, employee ID. So once you have done in your system, so you will put some enrollment ID. So the same enrollment ID should be act as employee name in the software. So we need to change that uh, employee name. So here we are just changing the employee name and enrollment ID should be as like as same as your device only. Update the necessary information and uh, after you can just uh, start for updating. Now for updating, you can update into the device also. In this session, we will upload all employee information to the device. So the result is you can see once you have punched into the device your name, enrollment ID, everything from the device itself. Before going to take the report, we need to get all punches. So that means logs. So for this, we will go to device again and we will download logs from the device. Make sure to do recalculating before taking report. Okay, here we need to first recalculate your data that means you have download all the logs right so the same log you need to recalculate once you recalculate all these data you can go to the report also Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.